In this video, I want to talk about making a left turn at an intersection where we're facing a green light, but we have to wait in the waiting position because there are cars across from us indicating that they want to turn right and they can't make their right turn because they're pedestrians crossing the crosswalk. And so kind of having that hierarchy in mind about who goes first, who has the right of way here. And when you know what the order of operation is or who has the right of way, then if someone gets impatient with you and honks from behind, you are going to feel less anxious because you know you're in the right. There was nothing else I could have done but to follow the rules. So in a moment's time, we're gonna be coming up to the next intersection to turn left and we can see we're about a block away and we can see that we have a flashing green arrow at that intersection. So it's an advanced green arrow. And I'm thinking, you know what, by the time I get there, that arrow is gonna be gone. And if I'm lucky, I'm gonna be dealing with a green light and if, or, or maybe it will, it will have already gone to yellow and red at that point. And then I just have to wait for the next cycle of the light. But never the case, you can see, it was going from a flashing green, now it's a solid yellow. And then as I approach, that arrow is gone. And I know immediately after, this red light is gonna to go to a green light. How do I know this? It's called an advanced light, right? So it's giving those people in the turn lane an advanced opportunity to go ahead and make the turn. And after the advance is complete, then it turns on the through signal uh, for both us and the oncoming traffic and then we just have to deal with it like we would a regular intersection light. So there you go, the light just turned green. And so we're coming up to make a left turn at this intersection. We're obviously signaling and shoulder checking before we go into this turn lane. And we can see this crosswalk is busy. So I, the first thing that comes to my mind is, okay, Light just went green, people need to cross. I need to get into the waiting position, put my back goes in the middle of the crosswalk while I wait for all this happening. And then once this person passed by me here, I could better see that, oh, the indicator on this car is on. And as I approach, I'm not sure what this car is doing just yet. Maybe he's also wanting to go straight through or maybe he, is trying to make a right turn here. And as I come forward, okay, now I can see their indicator. And so right at this moment, I'm not really thinking about this car because I know this car is gonna be gone in, in half a second. I'm thinking about the fact that when the light is green, the people taking a right turn have precedence over the people making a left turn. And whatever that they're dealing with at this moment that's causing them to yield here, that is their concern. I'm thinking about the order of operation here, which is light is green, people wanting to turn right, and I don't want to be in a situation where they're turning right and I'm threading into my lane at the same time, right? You don't want to be doing this maneuver. You can, if you know after this car, it's clear yeah, as they're making that turn, I can tuck in behind them. So we're staggering our turn, but we never thread the needle into that road, even if there are two lanes there. So moving on, now I'm seeing, okay, another car shows up and they're saying, oh, they're turning. So I'm just going to go through. I don't like this type of maneuver last second at the intersection doing this maneuver. Intersections are busy enough as it is. They're confusing enough as it is. We don't need impatient people. I would have no problem with this car coming through, but they should have read this scenario earlier and realize, hey, it's too late to be doing a lane change, or I'm really far away, let me do a lane change and not deal with the cars that are waiting to turn right. So drivers have the right to choose the lane of least resistance, but choosing a lane of least resistance at the intersection or very close to the intersection is generally not a good idea. Anyway, we'll proceed here. So now the light has gone to yellow and this is when I start really taking 
this corner to consideration because I need to see what is what is their speed telling me because I know once these guys are going right the light has turned yellow and these people are starting to make their turn so I know I'm able to make this turn after this car but I also need to make sure that this person is not just trying to go through the yellow light at the last second but I'm not getting that vibe from them I'm not getting that feel that their car is coming through the intersection at a fast pace right I'm getting the feeling that they're slowing down to come to a smooth stop and that's something that new drivers sometimes have a hard time gauging they think anything moving is a danger when the light is yellow not necessarily it's the speed at which they're coming towards the intersection that determines whether that person is running a yellow light or whether they're just coming up to make a smooth stop and of course if there are multiple lanes trying to gauge all of that at the same time then becomes a little bit of a challenge for brand new drivers that's why we start with intersections with maybe one lane of oncoming traffic or two lanes of oncoming traffic and you know in Victoria we rarely have a scenario where we've got three lanes of oncoming traffic and we just have a regular intersection light where we have to do this but in Vancouver you might still have those scenarios where you're interacting with those kind of lights but anyway we can see okay the lights turn to red and it wasn't our intention to turn left on a red light it just so happened that by the time this person was able to make the turn and by the time it took us a split second to make sure that their speed is telling us that they're coming to a stop we are making the turn on a, a red light now this is a very interesting because just a moment ago this vehicle was turning right and we can see as we're turning onto this road there are two lanes of traffic so which lane should they have gone into right they should have gone into the first available lane I'm thinking that they're probably going to be going into the parking lot here so they're thinking oh I'll just go into the lane that I need because I need to turn some but you can't do that you need to turn into the first available lane signal check and then do a lane changeover and so this actually drives my point home nicely because as I was waiting there can you imagine if I said at this moment you know what two lanes let me just go right how do I know which lanes these guys are going to go to they should in theory go into the first lane but in this case like as we're making this turn right we can see both cars had gone into this lane and I doubt that in the half a second that we didn't have a view of them in this video that they got they both went into this lane and then signaled and checked and came into this lane it's very likely more often than not they've just gone wide into where they're thinking of going into so start watching the replays of this video at the end so you can get a feel for you know from how far back in this video are you reading the situation right so we talked about hey I'm coming up we, we missed the arrow light screen now bunch of people crossing the intersection I need to make sure that that's clear oh and then these people are waiting to turn right and they can't make their turn until the crosswalk is clear of at least pedestrians walking towards their car and I'm keeping an eye out on this person right but I'm thinking it's going to take these people longer to turn than it does this person so I've got lots of these videos now posted to YouTube so watch more and more of them so you can see different scenarios it's pretty cool every time you come to the same intersection the scenario changes like last time you had four pedestrians and a car waiting to turn right this time you have six pedestrians and no cars and waiting to turn right and so you need to see the different scenarios so that when you come up to the intersection you're like okay know what I need to worry about okay I need to keep an eye out on the light I need to think about the oncoming traffic whether they're turning right or whether they're going through I need to think about the pedestrians crossing and I need to check my rear view mirror to make sure that no one's approaching me where it looks like they're not coming to a stop so I hope you learned something from this video and I'll see you in the next one